Hello YouTube and welcome back to RPG Dawn. In this episode we're going to cover how to create a map and how to set passage to other maps. To create a new map you go to this left toolbar, right click and click new. Specify what you want to do about the map. Name it, we're just going to name it test map. And set the width and height of your map. Decide if you want any background music playing in the background as well. Make sure to specify if this is an outdoor area, or an indoor area, or even a dungeon on the tile set option. I'm going to choose inside. When you're done, your screen should look like this. Because I chose the indoor option, I should have a bunch of indoor tiles, like walls and floors, and even parts to buildings. Choose the floor you like best, and simply click on the map to where you want the floor to be. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You can simply click on a new tile and click over where you made the mistake to change it. Make sure to use floor tiles for the floor and wall tiles for the wall. If you're unsure which tiles are floor and which tiles are wall, you can simply test your game by clicking this green arrow. Say yes to save changes. And walk around your map a bit to see if you can walk through it or not. We can't walk through the walls, so our map looks good. Our map was done using the map button held down on the toolbar on the top. To start programming, make sure you click the event button. You should see a grid like this if you're on the right screen. Whenever you want something to happen, you're going to have to program it into one of these squares. I want my character to exit this building and go to the next map once he steps on this tile. To make him do that, I'm going to double click the square. To let the game know when to do it, I'm going to go to trigger and click player touch. This lets the game know when my player touches that square to do something. Now I'm going to tell it what to do. I'll double click this first row with the diamond in it, click the second tab, go to where it says movement and choose transfer player. Make sure direct designation is checked and then click the drop box. I'm going to change his point to the first map and simply click where I want him to appear. Click OK when you're ready. I'll also want to set the priority to same as character. This lets the game know that that teleportation is an important part of the game. Choose Apply, then OK when you're ready. We can then click the green Playtest button to see if our actions worked. Make sure to always save changes before you do this step. Our character successfully went to the next map. To give him a passageway back, we're going to go to the other map. I'll change the layout a bit by going back to the map button. Then go back to the edit button to make a new path and do the same step. Apply, then OK. I'll make sure to test to see if it works now. Our character can now move back and forth from the two maps. This concludes the second episode. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If there's anything you would like to learn, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.